Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to show you how to download music from Spotify. So let's open up our Spotify app and get started. So in order to download music from Spotify, first of all, let's just look for anything. So let's go into search and look for Dance Monkey, for example. Open that up. Obviously, I'm not going to play it. And what I have to do in order to download this, you're going to see on the right hand side, these three lines on the bottom right hand side, just tap on those. And from there, you're going to see three dots on the top right hand side. Just tap on those. And then you're going to get this list. So we can just add this. That's our third option. Let's just add it. Our third option. And that's being added. So right now it's downloading. So let's say you guys want to download a bunch of songs at the same time, not just one at a time, right? So let's just get out of this. That's downloading. Let's just leave it. Downloads really fast, by the way. And we're just going to go back to home. We're going to go into Swing Dance Party, for example. And let's say we want to download all of this. On the top left hand side, you guys will see that heart. Beside the heart, there's that arrow pointing down. That means download. So we're going to tap right there. And here we go. It's downloading. So right now, we can actually listen to all of this offline. Now let's say you change your mind, you want to take this off. Well, just tap on that arrow again, and it's going to say remove from downloads. And we can go ahead and remove. So right now I'm going to click on cancel because I want to show you that, that this does in fact work. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go back, we're going to go into our home. And at the top right hand side corner, we are going to see a gear icon. So tap on that gear icon. From here you guys can see your profile and so on. Let's go into our third option where it says playback. So check that out. And then your first option will say offline. So at this point, I'm assuming all the songs, yeah, they should have downloaded right now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Okay, so at this point, if I want to play anything, it's not gonna because it has to be downloaded first. So let me just go back into home and test that out. So let's say I want to uh, play this. Well, I'm offline, so I can't, I can't even access this. Again, we can just go ahead and turn off everything. So I'm going to go into airplane mode. That's going to turn off everything. So even my Wi-Fi and everything. You know what? Let's just turn off my Bluetooth. <laughs> Why not? So at this point, let's just go back into Spotify. It's going to tell me this. That's fine. We're not going to turn on anything. Cause that's the point of this video to show you how this works. And I'm going to go to swing. No, actually, before I go to swing dance, I'm going to show you other things. So salsa, I'm going to try and play this. You're going to see this. So since I'm offline and this has not been downloaded, I can't play it. I have to go online. However, this is not what I downloaded. What I downloaded was this. So if I play this right here, it's just going to play. Okay, I'm going to pause it and I can play any of these songs since they have in fact been downloaded already. So I'm not going to get that message saying you can't because it hasn't been downloaded. So make sure you download it like this. So again, if I go into Salsa Nation, for example, it's going to tell me this because it hasn't been downloaded. Now, if I want to download any of these, now yes, you do have to go online. So we're going to exactly do that again. So we're going to take this off, turn on Bluetooth, whatever. And from here, I'm going to go into my gear icon, playback, and I'm going to go online again so I can do everything. Now, I want to show you a little bit more about downloads. So if you scroll down, you're going to see storage. Storage is my fourth last option down here below. And from here, I'm going to see this stuff. It's good to delete the cache sometimes if you're running out of space. However, what I really want to show you is music quality. Music quality. Now, streaming, we can go automatic. That's fine. But this video is really all about downloading. So if you scroll down just a little bit, you're going to see your download. You can download this at really high, very high, and you can even download using your cellular. So you don't have to always download using Wi-Fi. So I can turn this on. And now I can download any music that I want using my data plan and not just over Wi-Fi. I can only turn this on really, really high in order to get the best sound possible. For most of you, it's just going to be normal. That's the recommended. Or if you guys don't want to waste too much data or Wi-Fi, just go low and that's fine. By the way, low sounds just okay. Anyways, just wanted to show you those options that are very important. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to go back again. And that's how you guys can download anything. So right now, I am back into my list. I'm going to go back into Salsa, for example. I couldn't play this before, right? So I'm going to tap on the top 
left hand side it's gonna download everything from here I'm gonna be able to listen to this offline now how do you know this is actually working well you guys may notice on the top left hand side that circle is spinning and spinning that means it's downloading once it's done then it's gonna stop spinning now there's a lot of songs here and that's why it's still spinning you may notice one of them one by one you see that arrow turning green that means it's been downloaded so I'm gonna keep going down so you guys can see that this automatically is downloading every single one of these and that's also how you can check if this is actually working anyways that would be it for this video if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you